Right, not sure what that means. I've come across directly this line. These stupid eyes, you know, you they point the eye in the direction. There is something that looks like it's a trail, but not really. I mean, it's just goes up into the bushes and there's no eye anywhere. Without a map, without any idea if I'm just getting more lost. And my only hope is if I follow the river long enough, I might get out of here. I'm essentially lost. I'm in the middle of bold knob wilderness. Great. Maybe not a good day to get rid of the Vibrams. They would be perfect right now. If I swapped to Vibrams, I could do all the river crossings. Not have to get my shoes wet. Not get blisters. And then swap back to dry shoes. But I just felt like I never used the Vibrams. Haven't used them hardly at all. Now is the time. I've got to cross this patch of river here. I'm hoping this stick will help. Go, go, go. Yeah, I got wet feet. This is not going well. It's probably not a good idea. Yes. So my feet aren't soaking wet, but I definitely got some water in my shoes, but I'm not just sloshing through the water quite yet. I think it's fair to say I'm just not going to find the trail again. I'm just having to rely on following the river until I hit a road. Then I'll have to follow the road. And even then, where I'm trying to get to, it's a river that can't be crossed. What's the point of that? There's a house. There's a house up there. Maybe I go up to the house. It's going to have a road, right? So that's the last resort. If we have to, we'll go back to that house and ask them how to get out of here. There must be a road. Right now I'm stuck. I have to cross this and there's no way across but to get wet feet. Here we go. Ugh. Or take my shoes off. I am currently in the Trail of Tears State Park. It's still Trail of Tears and definitely I'm getting that kind of vibe. It's a tearful, this sucks kind of vibe going on. I'm lost. I got wet feet. Ah. It would be today that I ditched the Vibrams. Ah. Whose idea was it to go off-road? <laughs> Maybe if it was well-marked trails. Executive decision. I'm going to the house. I've looked carefully at Google Maps and the distance I would have to follow the river is approximately five miles, judging by the distance to other towns, the distance I've run already. I can't do this for five miles. I really didn't realize when I ran from Miami along the sand, and even when I went through the swamp, crossing over to Tampa, 
pretty much all of Florida was comparatively ridiculously easy because I had maps and a good sense of direction and well labeled roads but this this is just ridiculous how am I ever going to get there if it's not clearly marked all the way in the middle of bald knob wilderness could it get any worse a nice opportunity for a bath this is a good clean section of water here I suppose I could have a dunk When I walked through the river, I had my power cables in my pocket. I power the phone with, and they're wet now. Luckily, I have one spare. The 10 foot long one is in the belt. Gutted, I've lost my phone charger cables now. I don't like the idea of drying them out and trying to keep using them. It's just not worth the risk. I don't want to corrode my phone. We had that happen already, it cost $100. So, 10 bucks for new cables versus $100. So that sucks. We lost 20 bucks. I had this in my pocket, but it's wide open, so it was full of water. Gutted. There's also charges for power banks. They're quite universal, so. And again, lucky I have some spares. Didn't even think of that. I keep them in my pocket where they're easy to access, but maybe I should rethink that. I've already had to remove some more ticks. Uh, Illinois, memorable for its ticks and trails of getting lost. It's not just long grass, there's all kinds of other weird stuff in here. I see one vehicle parked by the house. I hope that means somebody's home. It looks like the trunk is open. Hopefully they're not murderers. <laughs> I'll show you the map. It says Trail of Tears State Forest. So we're doing the Trail of Tears. Yeah. And it's just green. There's no paths. No rivers, no nothing, no clues. Just a big patch of green. You see why I'm thinking the roads are quicker. Like, I was whining about the traffic. Oh, the cars, they make so much noise. I can't hear my music. Well, I'm not really enjoying the music right now either. At least on the road, I know where I'm going. I can find Taco Bell. <laughs> I really hope they're home. There's got to be some kind of road. There's nothing, according to the map, it's just green. Green nothingness. Yay! There's somebody here. Woo! I'm happy you're home. I'm trying to get to that grand, what's it called? Grand something? Grand Canyon? Up north, yeah north a little bit not the Grand Canyon Grand Tower it's a town a little river town perfect I mean I'm ultimately heading west so any you know that that but that's where officially the trail goes yeah, right but I couldn't see it it is difficult to find but the creek gets up all the time all up in there so the trail gets yeah. 
covered with debris and stuff and then it changes the trail changes as far as do you want to ride out to the road in a golf cart sure okay that's the best i can do for yeah you. i was gonna walk it just point me what way i'll take a ride in the golf cart <laughs> so how far are we from grand tower good 20 25 miles oh what yeah. wow and there's something there when I get there. Like you said, it's a town. There's shops, like but food. There's a gas station. Okay. Thing, and there might be something like that. I, I bet know. you don't get many people walking through that field. No. But <laughs> hikers are off of that trail that couldn't find the way across. You just have to go. Oh, that does happen. You have had it. Yeah. Happen. Right. And I told myself that I love being out in nature. But it's like, mm, do yeah. I? Like... Do I love it if I'm having a look at the map every five minutes and feel lost? Yeah, you know, it's especially a difficult place where you are. This is a humid day. This is not a good time to be here. Yeah. Although not many mosquitoes. Yeah, it's surprising. It might be soon. Yeah, great. <laughs> you'll be going uphill for three miles, and then you'll be up on a ridge called Pine Hills. Okay. And you'll be overlooking the Mississippi River Valley, and you'll be able to see the Mississippi River. At oh, cool. Points. Muddy Lever Road. Correct. Levy. Levy Road. Yeah. Muddy Levy Road. Driver Chevy to the Levy. Okay. The levy was dry. He was very helpful. That was. I'm glad someone was home. Because even if I reach this dirt track. How would I know what way to go? So he's told me the right way. And he said it's not the first time that people have got lost, you know, lost the trail. And then ended up at his house. So he's kind of used to it. We're about to cross the Mississippi River. I mean, that's pretty cool. And I wonder what trail is on the other side. Constantly got little bugs in my face. Bugs in my face bugging me. <sighs> even landing on the camera. It's annoying. It's just like uh, uh, tiny little black flies. I've tried using the fly spray, obviously. Wow, I hear traffic. <laughs> It's the sheriff. <laughs> Hi. You on walking from Miami? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I say I'm running. I'm walking on the uphill. I don't blame you. I'm running on the downhill. <laughs> That's cool that word got around. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Have Thank a nice you. Trip. All right, bye bye. <laughs> cool. Whew, I think that down there is the Mississippi. Mississippi River. And we're right at the top here. It's been a lot of climbing since the river and the lost house guy. I'm hungry now and I think I'm just going to sit down. Beans and bread. Banging. I'm actually quite pleased about this. Makes a change in the oats. <laughs> yeah, we're back on track. Boom. Love now, create, inspire By doing what you love, peace
Uh oh. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Amazing. That was lucky. I think I saw a fish going through there too. Probably what? so. Yeah. And now you're in the vlog. Jason and Barb. Jason yeah. and Barb. Awesome. Taking me across the water. We live right up the hill in the mountain. <laughs> this is proper deep. Yeah, you wouldn't have wanted to wade through that. Well, I, you know, I would have had to take my shoes off. Yeah. Which <laughs> is uh, slow going, you know, you don't know what you're going to yeah. step on. Well, that was lucky, huh? That Very lucky. You <laughs> saved the day. <laughs> Amazing. There we go. Thank you. A little bit of cheating. Yeah, well, sometimes you got to. It wasn't even a quarter mile. No. <laughs> Good luck. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> wow. And they tell each other, and they'll tell you, you did the best you could. The deck was stacked against you. And they'll say, it's not your fault. And they'll tell you, it's okay to stop. It's okay to settle. It's okay to give up. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. And you need to train that instinct. Your instinct. Train it to say, get up. Go. Fight on. And if that is what you become, if that becomes your fundamental reaction to adversity, if that becomes your gut instinct, then you will overcome just about anything that stands in your path. Some muddy levee, five miles from Grand Tower. Grand Tower has a gas station that closes in one hour. Same deal like yesterday. Closes at 9 p.m. Don't know if I'm gonna make it. I've got this can of beans if I don't make it. And I'm wondering, maybe I leave the beans to save the weight and try and get there. And if I miss it, I'll just have to eat potato for dinner. Maybe if I save the weight of the beans, I don't know, I haven't decided if it's worth it yet. I'm just holding them. Two dollars I spent on the beans. It's the heaviest thing I've got right now. Thinking I could just dump it. Let's do it, let's just dump it. Enough thinking about it. I love you beans. Thank you. Hopefully somebody finds you there. <laughs> I'm that much lighter. I drank all my water. All I've got is dry potatoes. Let's make it to the gas station. Come on. We're not going to have it close another night. See, usually five miles in one hour should be pretty easy, it's five miles an hour. But, I've already done 30, maybe 35, I don't know how many miles today. There's a lot of uphill and downhill. There's quite a bit of mountains, two big climbs. Two big climbs, 
two big levee runs and all of that trail of tears in the woods getting lost walking the river the only goal for tomorrow is to cross the Mississippi River we might need a boat you already know who you are and that piece that piece that we're after lies somewhere beyond personality your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world I sprinted the end like it was a race. Give everything you got. Twenty minutes to spare. <laughs> I gotta walk this last bit. I'm dumping those beans. Maybe that made all the difference. You know, I'm not sure what a can of beans weighs comments down below got to start leaving earlier it's this uh, getting up kind of late slow getting going you know I went to the post office I'm just looking for water I think I'm definitely gonna drink from the 7-up machine yes Wow, there goes my hero. So I asked her, could she change my 20? Because I really want just some more sugar, you know, drink. Let's just drink out all the cans. Let's get every flavor. Let's get a Sprite and a Dr. Pepper and a Mellow Yellow Mountain Dew, whatever. So she said, I'm gonna go home and get you change. I was like, wow, thank you. Then she went home, but she didn't have change for a 20. So she just said, here's $4. You could just have four dollars. So I'm like, yes, cha-ching. I told her the whole story. I said, look up Sebcam. So thank you so much. That's so kind of you. To go all the way home to do that too. Uh, that's just perfect example of the good news of the good people that exist all over the place. Especially if you just ask. I came running up because she just pulled up in the car wanting to buy a soda for herself. So I came running out of the darkness and she seemed a bit surprised. Oh, who's this guy? So I said, hi, I just ran here from Alto Pass, which she confirmed is about 35 miles away. <sighs> Not including the up and the down and the getting lost and the over the mountain. Oh, right. Which one shall we choose? I haven't used this machine yet. Whoa! That's cool. Citrus. There's something undescribable but I'm gonna try and describe it. About running 35 miles like that, where it's really difficult and really unenjoyable at times. Getting lost, doing the uphill struggle, at times feeling like my body was just done and I had to walk, but then finding the right music 
and keep him pushing. And then getting into a kind of a zone and actually enjoying it, just flying along. I wouldn't say effortlessly, but at a pace which I didn't think possible when I was walking. And then you push and you push and you push and you make it 20 minutes before your goal. And even though the, the shop is closed and I've ended up with all these cans, it's hilarious. I've never drank this many cans. <laughs> Probably in my life, I don't remember when I last did that. And after going through such a struggle like that, to the very edge of thinking, screw this, I'm done. There's also the reality that, well, even if you're done, okay, you still gotta get out of here. You can't just call in a helicopter extraction. <laughs> you're gonna have to get to the next town. You're gonna have to get to the next airport. You're gonna have to fly home or fly to California or, what's the plan here? You still gotta get out. And that's what I mean about I don't have a choice. I force myself, I'm in the situation where I'm the only one who can get me out of this. And I'm way up a mountain with no other options. And then somehow, from somewhere, this energy and sometimes it comes from the people, even those people who stopped and picked me up and took me through that flood. It's a strange sense of satisfaction. And I'm using the word accomplishment because it's like, I didn't think I would make it. And yet I did make it. And I even made it 20 minutes early, even though it wasn't open. <laughs> And we left the beans behind. <laughs> we left the beans behind. This is an adventure. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Captain. <laughs>